In this video tutorial I will show you how to quickly create a reflection for a cityscape photo. So let's get started. Here I have a night photo of Dubai for which I want to create a reflection. And what I need to do first is to expand the photo so I have a place for the reflection as currently the top part is bigger than the bottom part. To do so I need to choose the crop tool and just start dragging on the bottom center point until the middle point of the new crop, you can see the point there, is at the horizon line. So when I have it, I let it go and hit enter. Now I have to choose the top part, so I choose the marker tool, drag a selection. It will snap, you will see a line where it snaps on the middle point because that's the middle of the new image we created. Okay, now. I'll let it go and I right click in the middle of it and layer via copy. <coughs> now we have a new layer just with the top part. Now we need to flip it. So I will go Ctrl T to go into free time zone, right click, flip vertical. Now to drag it down, I hold shift. So I move in the straight line and just drag it down until it snaps to its new position and I confit with enter. So we have the basic reflection, <clears throat> now to add some movement into it, so it simulates water more. So I go into filter, blur, motion blur, and I go with the zero angle, and the distance is around 10 pixels for every 1000 pixels of the size of the photo. So this photo is uh, 1300, so it's around 13 pixels, and I choose OK. And now I have a much nicer reflection, it's already looking more like a water, but let's add a few little waves into this so it's more distinct. So let's create a new layer, fill it with white, so I go shift backspace and choose white here, click OK. <clears throat> now I filter, noise, add noise, and around 400% Gaussian monochromatic. I will hit OK and now I need to blur also this so blur motion blur and around four times the value we had before so around 52 I hit OK and these are already like small waves but there are too many of them so I will go under image adjustment levels and I start dragging the dark point up around three fourths of this and the bright point down and you can see already how they start to show we want maybe here we want some of them but not so many and i hit ok <coughs> and now to give it a more 3d look i will go three times form choose perspective and drag the bottom point so the ones that are closer to you are bigger and the ones that are further away are smaller. So I will just drag the point. Both points will be dragged simultaneously but you have to drag just one point and I hit OK. And now I will choose soft light and I will go to around maybe 14%. We of course don't want this to affect the sky so I will hold down Alt key and click in between these two layers which will crop the top layer based on the bottom layer. So right now we have this small little waves only on the bottom part. Maybe I can add a little to the opacity so they are a little more visible and we're done. <coughs> so this is the basic way to create the reflection with the motion blur. And I will show you one more. Uh, this is the horizontal water movement, but quite often the water moves towards you when you shoot the photo and you want also to simulate that effect. So let's turn off our little waves and let's turn off this so I get back to where I started <coughs> and let's copy this top part once more. So I have a new layer. Please ignore these two layers we used before, we will create a new one. So I will have a new layer, I will flip it again, I will move it to place. I'm doing the same thing as I did before, but this time instead of doing a horizontal motion blur, I will do a vertical motion blur. So I will go on to blur, motion blur, I choose 90 degrees as our blur and I will go maybe with 
and that's to me not enough I will go maybe with 35 pixels for this I will hit OK so now it created a completely different <coughs> kind of reflection but you will also see that the middle part does not look good because the reflection goes above the center point so what I will do for this <coughs> is create a layer mask choose a gradient from black to white and I will click on the middle point and drag a little down and you see now it created quite a nice transition from uh, the top part into the bottom part I would, could maybe do it a little more even softer that it's like this that uh, the transition is more natural and I can then just copy the waves we created before and just use them on this bottom layer so this is the variant with the vertical motion and you can have the variant with the horizontal motion so it depends which ones you like more and which one fits better your photo that's all for this video and see you by the next one